Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead! I don't know who you are, but I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Just some surgical supplies. Just some surgical supplies. Looks like a car jack. Imagine this being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Okay, this has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? 
No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I want to be happy to have them both. But... you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof sounds good Yes, then. Lee! Lee! Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up! Savannah was empty. Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. 
Yeah, that could help. That's the church across the street from the mansion. Rubber Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay, but you still have to get over there. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. Well, you're here. Don't get me killed. I won't. Are you afraid? I'm still afraid of getting eaten. More than ever. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked!
coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. I'm so fucked. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us. And Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We've dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. 
they never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben. Um. Oh shit! Here they come. In the house. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omi. What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. 
Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... Get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should've cut it off. At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get them in time, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... 
will do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. I'm safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? He'll figure himself out one way or another. What do you mean by that? He'll either get his act together, or something will happen to him. That's it? What else is there to say? He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. Good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. He wanted to die in Crawford. What's that now? Well, I had him there, in my hand. He wanted me to drop him. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Smart. Think all the people we've seen go. 
They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Will. Keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh! Quiet, Ben! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh! He's screwed. He's not screwed! He can't die down here! What do you want to do, Ken? We can't... Oh. Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. Just a few. Give them to me. What are you gonna do? Give them to me and get the hell out of here! I'm not leaving you. Go! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, 
kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I couldn't do anything. Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and... It was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God. Poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. It wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. Before, in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay.
Marsh House Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next! Going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there.
I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, Things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody? you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap his stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I... Found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find some place safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. 
You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> 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 He could come back. It's okay, Sweet Pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. 
need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Sure. Just a little more. So gross. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe.
Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead, for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! See? Clementine. Honey. What? What happened? No, 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 that's... that's not... No! No, no, no! Yes, Clem, it is. <sighs> it's like Larry, isn't it? I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know! I... I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. Uh, might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You're just learning, Ella. Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them. I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! <laughs> I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I... I can't leave you! Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked! It's uh. no big deal. Just a glass window. <laughs> Ow! Not with your hand. There's a chair over there. Uh. 
There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Watch out! It's only one thing. 
think you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You could leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please. It's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. The noise, sweet pea. They already know we're in here. You don't need more of them. It's like with Larry, honey. He was going one way or another, but at that moment I couldn't do more violence. You have to be careful about that. It'll consume you. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. And Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too.